Hello folks and welcome to a brand new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. After several episodes without unboxings, it's so gratifying to be able to do two in a row. Especially considering that the unboxings are of cars that are really special like this Lotus uh, 78 and this next car, this fantastic Terrell. P34. Oh my goodness. See, this is this is one of the most famous Formula One cars. I mean, granted, most fans these days, most F1 fans, or a great many F1 fans, know about the sport through Drive to Survive or things like that. But among F1 cars, one of the most among aficionados at least, one of the most famous cars is a car that existed before many of them were even born. It's this Terrell P34, and why is it famous? We'll take a look at it. It's the only F1 car to ever actually race and win a Grand Prix with six wheels. Okay, let's take a look at this baby. It was such an interesting thing, the, the six wheel experiment. Apparently, the, the P34 was quite successful. Even though it only won one race, it was extremely competitive the year it was introduced. It got to the point where other teams, including for no less than Ferrari, experimented with um, their own six-wheel cars. But none of them actually ever got into you know, racing competitively. They only made it as far as tests, or so I've read. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is the, oh wow, wow. Let's have a look at the real car, shall we? Oh yes, yes. So this is the P34. It's the 1976 Spanish GP edition. That was the launch of this car, for those of you who are wondering. I had to look it up. And this is, this is a number four that was driven by Frenchman, I think it was Patrick Depayet. Okay, that's wonderful. It's really, really wonderful detail. I mean, you have to remember we're talking about again, we're talking about a car that costs just a smidgen over ten dollars, and yet we're getting beautiful detail like this again. With the we have the Ford Cosworth V8 beautiful beautiful piece I mean back then the engines were exposed on current F1 cars of course they're under the bodywork but here you see glorious bits of engine under the car and just behind the driver and it is fantastic to behold yeah okay I couldn't I couldn't quite bring myself to give the Lotus a perfect 10 but you know what when it comes to this baby, holy moly. Yep. We're bearing in mind things like the price and this detail. And holy cow, this is beautiful. Yeah. Now this baby, this baby gets a 10 for me. The Terrell P34 by Mini GT gets a perfect 10 from Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. And you can take that to the back. Right? And that's it for this unboxing. So happy to bring you guys these two cars. I love them both. I may have graded one a little higher than the other, but I still think they're both fantastic looking pieces. And I encourage you to pick them both up. They are beautiful. If you don't believe me, look for yourself. Let me check them out for yourself. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. All right, and that's it for this pair of unboxings. I do promise I will be back soon with more unboxings, but I don't think I'm going to be able to talk this for a while. But yeah. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hitting that notification bell. And if you're already a regular, well, stay tuned. There's plenty more to come.